Hi, today's video we are going to carry on looking at the reports available in the Starfront program. Today we are going to look at the ordering reports. So if we go to our reports menu, the next three icons are the ordering reports that are available in Starfront. We have a section order, a component order and a glass order. One of the things that you can do in the program, if you want your reports to print a little bit faster is actually close your contract on the screen and then go and select that report. So I'm going to go to my contracts tab. I'm going to close this current contract on the screen. I now go, now go to reports. I go to my section order. I choose my contract, which is sample one. It will remember it. And I say, do the cutting list for me for sample one. So you can see it scans through each of the designs. And then it will come up with your section ordering schedule. In other words, it's going to tell us now exactly what profiles are required to manufacture this entire contract, the quantities and what length we need to order those profiles in. So let's have a look at the support a little bit closer. This is our section ordering schedule. As of the 2nd of the 5th, 2020 at 11.32, First of all, we have our material code. Now that code is, your, is CDP dependent. So some of the CDPs might have a slightly different code here, but that's important because this is a report that you can send to your CDP and you can place your order on your material directly from the support. So our first thing on here is a clip 44 door style, 65 bills. We need one length, which is a 6.5 meter length. The mill price for that material is 1,276 cents. There's only one length, so our mill cost is 1,276. It must be finished in white powder coating. Then we, then we have the, the price per length finished and then the finished cost. Okay, let's go and have a look at the, the next thing is a Clip 44 glazing adapter. Mill price 148.35, finished price 186.34. And so you will go through the different sections that are required. It tells you how many lengths are required. So if we go to our Clip 44 13 mil multi bead, you will see we require 10 lengths at 6 meters each length. The mill price per length is 46.04 times the 10 length is 460.43. In white finish, it's 56.42 per length, so our 10 lengths are going to cost us 564.23. So there's all our Clip 44 profiles. Then I have my Palace track. Then we have some Swift 28 profiles. I have my Vistafold head, my Vistafold jam, and my Vistafold saw. So those are all the profiles, the quantities, the correct length, and then the pricing, either in mill or powder coated already for you. So it is possible for you to order your material in just mill finish, in which case you would be using the, these sets of fingers down this side, or if you want to order it pre-finished from the speaker or from your CDP, then you'll be working on that price. So that is the total of our, our material. Let's look at our finished prices. I'm looking at a subtotal of 398605, less 349651, that's my 25% discount gives me a total of 1048953 and the vet my total order on this job is 12.062 and 96 cents so it's not just about working out what profiles you need the program has actually optimized every single profile and it said okay i need to cut a piece of material 1.2 meters long so it takes your original six meter length trims off the end to get it square and then starts cutting your material 1.2 meters long. Once that offcut is smaller than the smallest piece that it requires, it will throw that offcut away and then it will then take the next length and it will carry on on that optimization process. So it's not just an estimate of how many lengths you need. If you cut this material correctly, you will be able to cut your material exactly out of that length. All right, so that was our aluminium or our section order report. The next report along is your component order. So let's select that. 
Once again, now it has to go through all of the designs and it has to accumulate all the total numbers of screws and pop rivets and all the individual items so that it can consolidate that order and it can work out, for example, how many boxes of screws or what, how exactly how many of each item that you need on this design. And here is our component order. Okay, so our component order. You'll see we have the code. Once again, this code can vary depending on who your Grelka distribution partner or CDP is. You've got a description of that item, how many you need to order, what is your pack size, what are the units, and then the price excluding VAT and the price, total price. So one at 187.50 is still 187.50. Here are Vistafold hinges in natural. I need nine of them. They sold each 39.75, so it's 357.75. And you, as you go through down all of the individual op options, if you have a look at something like your countersunk rivets, it's telling you need to order one box of a hundred to get those items in. There is another report that will show you exactly how many screws out of that box of 100 you're going to use. But here is every single item that you need to manufacture the, those, or that entire contract for you. Okay, and then on the next page is just your totals. So once again, you should be able to take this order and take it and pop it in the fax machine or save it as a PDF and email it directly to your supplier it has your supplier's codes on it, it has your supplier's pricing, and they should be able to deliver directly on this component order. All right, and then the, the, the third order that we have is our glass order. Now, our glass order, once again, you need to select the, the contract that you want to work on. It will scan through. And now what your glass order does for you is it works out, it separates it for each type of glass. So for example, first of all here, I've got my Carefloat Formal. Then I have my LAM01, which is my 6.38 laminate glass. Then I have my ST04, which is my Formal Stipper Light glass. So Carefloat 4, this is the reference that your glass supplier can put onto that piece of glass for you, so that you know when it comes to assembling this, exactly what piece of glass goes where. It will tell them how many pieces, what is the width of that piece of glass must be cut? What is the what length must that piece of glass be cut? What its area is? The pricing is 50 rand a square meter, and therefore it works out the price. Okay. Just remember, if you are going to order your glass cut to size for you, on your costing screen, you must go and choose the option which is glass cut to size. So these are all the different pieces of formal glass that I need for my various items. They're the pieces that I need for my shop front. Remember, we changed the shop front, the top glass, to be um, formal glass. Okay. Then I have my laminated glass. So on shop front one, there was some laminated glass. And on door number three, there was some laminated glass. And then finally, our stipper light, which is our frosted glass, it was only window number four. It had two little pieces of glass. They're the sizes, the area the price, the total, and the total quantity. So therefore, the total for this contract, a uh, total of 18 square meters, 2,051.05 cents, VAT 307.66, uh, suppliers discount, remember we set our discount to zero because these prices that I put in were my net prices, which means the total value of this order is 2,358.71 cents. Those then are the three different ordering reports that are available for you in the Starfront program. Just quickly, I want to go through, if, if we take any one of these options, um, I'm going to just take our, our first, our contract report. I just want to go through the different options that are available to you. Generally, that covers all the reports. If we look at these first four icons at the top, these are just different views. So I can click on the first one, it will show me the whole page as a view. I can click on the next icon, which is zoom to the full width. 
So my width will fit in on the screen and I can scroll vertically. My next one is to zoom to a scale of 100%. So it works out very close to the same as the full page. And then the final one is you can set your zoom. So I want to set a 70% zoom or I want to set 150% zoom. So that's just to control your view. This panel on the left hand side is your thumbnails. So if I've got a report with multiple pages, I could click on that thumbnail and I could pick up those different reports. These blue arrows are to navigate through the different pages. So that would be go to the first page, go to the previous page, go to the next page, go to the last page. This icon here, if I've got a report which is 50 pages long and I want to go to a specific page, I can click on that, I can say enter page number and I can go to that page. All right, then I've got a, a button which is copy page to clipboard. I can just push copy and it'll copy that information to the clipboard. I can now go and paste it into um, any software that I'm currently working with. The next button is my printer setup. So here I can choose which printer I want to print to. It will only physically print when you push that next button along, which is the print icon. Once you click that, it will send it to um, your printer. One of the things I do suggest you do is that you install yourself a PDF print driver, a high resolution PDF print driver. I use a program called Easy PDF Printer 6, which is the name of the program. And what that will allow you to do is it will allow you to, now when I click on print, it will ask me what is the file name where I want to save this printout to. Okay, so that was the save to PDF by installing a PDF driver. Uh, then I've got a load report, so it allows you to save a report in its own format and then load it. First, let's have a look at the save report icon. This save report will allow you to save your report to any of a whole range of standard formats. PDF documents, a proprietary quick reports format, that's its own format, a text document, a CSV file, a PDF, an Excel file, a real text format, and a Windows Meta file. So those are a whole lot of standard formats that you can export on. The one which is going to be very convenient for you is to choose a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, that will allow you to take any report that you can access in Starfront and take it into Excel. So if I choose a CSV, again, it's going to put it onto my desktop and I'm going to choose, let's just call this again test one. Now, if I go to my desktop, I will have a file called test1.csv and just open that in Excel and there you'll see there's that whole report saved in an Excel document. You will need to clean this report up a little bit. So you need, you'll need to go in and uh, get un rid of some unnecessary columns. Unfortunately, the Excel doesn't import that cleanly, but it is relatively simple to go in, uh, clean up the unnecessary columns and access that information. One of the reports that, that people use quite a bit is they utilize the itemized rates report and they save that as Excel. So let me just show you that. If I go and print the itemized rates report, and I choose sample one, that is a report which now gives me the breakdown of the individual items on this quote. I choose save, I say save it as an Excel file. And I'm going to call this item one. Now, if I go to my desktop, I'll have an Excel file called item one and open that and there's my itemized rates. So I can use that for quoting, I can use that for importing those prices into Pastel, whatever I want to do with that item. So those are just the general options that are available to you when you've got a report open in the Starfront program. Let's go back to that sample one. So if I had under the save option, if I save it as this quick reports file format. So this, let's call this cost one. Then I could use that open button 
to open cost one report. So you can save an electronic version of all your reports if you want as well. And then your final icon is just to close that screen. All right, so that covers all of the reports that are available to Starfront. It is on a superficial level. Uh, there will be a future video where we look in a bit more detail at the fine adjustments that can be made to the various reports. But that's enough to get you up and running and understand what are the standard reports available in the Starfront program. Once again, thank you for taking time to watch this video. Please stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. We'll see each other again soon for another video. Bye-bye.